Hey guys, so it's Shane here with Laser Mobile with another video. I have not released a video in a few days. However, this is our first video to start off the weekend. And I will also be releasing a few more videos this weekend, like part 2 of our HTC One Max review. However, right now in this video, I will be showing you how to get S-Note-like features or just features there are on the Samsung Galaxy Note phones on any Android phone. <clears throat> However, it does work better if you have a stylus, you can still use your finger. So here we have our HTC One Max. What I can do with this is if I tap in my top right hand corner, I can draw a gesture. So let's draw a plus sign. It opens Google Plus. Now the app that I am using for this is my gesture. It is a free app, however, there is a three dollar version, which I don't really think is worth it, but I bought it anyway. You can just change the icon image, however, you can't really change it to anything cool. It has to be a picture, nothing really transparent unless you use Photoshop for it. But so <clears throat> There's a bunch of things you can do in this app, so if you want to create a gesture, you just click create gesture, go to add gesture, you can set an internet URL, application, contact number, phone function, or shortcut. I will be showing you my personal three favorite ones. So first, if I tap in the top right corner, there's a slight delay. I'll write an L for laser mobile. This is the first time I'm actually using this link, but so then it'll gosh. So let's use oh we can use YouTube for the internet URL. And then it will take me right to my channel. So that is a really handy feature. However, actually, while I am in there, I will show you that you can use this within any app. So I just tapped in the top right corner, I can draw my gesture. So let's draw an H. And then what since it's an H, what it'll do is it'll automatically call my home phone. <laughs> it'll automatically call my home phone. And that's a another really good feature of this app is you can set it to call phones by just doing one gesture. You can do it for anybody, however I just use my home phone in this video. Another thing you can do is, did I set it as, let's go back into settings, so gestures, yes, what you can do is you can go here, I've never used this either. I'm just showing you all these. They don't really have that. Yeah, look. Just draw W, Wi-Fi off. Draw W, Wi-Fi on. It's a really good useful feature. And as you can see, if I pull down this bar, Wi-Fi is turned on when I toggle it back on. Now, another thing this is useful for is you just tap there. Draw an S. And it takes you right into HTC Scribble, your drawing app. So if you just need to jot down a quick note, this is very good because it takes you right into the HTC Scribble app. So, <clears throat> some other things you can do is you can change the icon size, the icon transparency. I personally like it to be pretty transparent. However, it does not have to be transparent. I like it in the top right corner also because it does not interfere with anything. You also change the size, make it bigger, smaller. I think a medium size is just perfect because it's not too big to interfere and so it gives you enough space to hit it. I just like it smaller and transparent because I know where it is. You can also change the icon image to one from your storage. <clears throat> and But that is only for the uh, uh, $2 version. You can change to auto start and you can also leave it in a fixed location. If you don't, you can just take it and drag it wherever you want. And then you can also put it in the st uh, status bar, whatever you want. You can use it anywhere. And you can set a gesture delay so when you tap it, it takes a while. 
Again, a lot of these aren't useful, however, they are there if you want to use them. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been our video tutorial on how to get S-Note-like features on any Android phone, specifically HTC with the HTC Scribble. As they have Scribble, however, they do not have many other S-Note features. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. This has been another Laser Mobile app review. Thanks.